Hi, I'm Aliona Kraftsova, and I'm sitting here at the Art Gallery of Burlington with local artist Jason Gray. How did you develop your style of illustrations? Uh, well, I mean, I've always been drawing. I uh, did this, you know, I went to school at Sheridan College, and I've continued uh, developing my style just on my own. Uh, I've always loved cartoons, uh, comics, and everything like that, so you know, I work within that style. It's very simple. I kind of, you know, I do for nice, clean line work. One thing I do do in piece is uh, tr differentiate some, like, the monsters from the normal people. I actually didn't put more detail into them, so whereas the people and the normal environments, you know, they're simplified, you get these more elaborate monsters, so like I said, they stick out more. Jason's illustrations stem from a wide variety of influences, including Hieronymus Bosch, Cliff Chang, and many more. Uh, I draw influences from like pretty much everything I take in. So uh, a huge fan of film, especially like uh, directors like Akira Kurosawa or Sergi Leone. Uh, I draw influence a lot from Gothic literature. So I love like Mary Shelley. Frankenstein's a brilliant book. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe is amazing. Uh, someone like Shirley Jackson, she has some very dark and bizarre st material. And uh, of course, H.P. Lovecraft, just because his stuff is very twisted. <laughs> Most of Jason's artwork is aimed at a mature audience, including his weekly comic, No Refund. Uh, it was inspired by a really awful toy store that I worked at. I'm not going to say the name, just uh, <laughs> anyways. And uh, what it is, is this girl named Izumi Yamakawa is the main character. She works at a toy store called Ojoy Toy. And uh, after her manager dies in a fatal merchandising accident, uh, she discovers that the company is run by a whole bunch of uh, monsters and demons. And she's forced to investigate and you know find out all the secrets of it. It's one page a week. Uh, it's going to be fairly long, especially because you only get a little bit of the story each week. But... Um, you know, it's going to eventually end up with her going all the way up to the CEO of the company and uh, finding out about his kind of master plan. Upon completion of this series, Jason hopes to have it published in volume format. If you would like more information on his artwork, visit norefund.thecomicseries.com or you can see him in person at an upcoming Art Gallery of Burlington event. Uh, I'm going to be actually showcasing some of my art in a couple weeks. It'll be on May 12th at the... Burlington Performing Arts Center. I'll be in an event called an, an Evening in Paris. I'll be doing a piece inspired by the Phantom of the Opera. For Halton Insider, I'm Aliona Kraftsoba.